Okay, so this is question number three. Ashley wants to make 25 bows to sell at market on to sell at market day. She bought a spool of ribbon that was 12 and 7,500 meters. So I'm thinking about, okay, who sells ribbon? Oh, Joanne Fabrics, Michael's, uh, Hobby Lobby. So all the craft places that you can go to. Um, I think Walmart does in their craft section, not as much as those other stores, but I think they still sell some. And then, um, oh, look, Ashley's grandma gave her six, uh, gave her another six meters of ribbon. That was so sweet. Now, Ashley plans to make each bow the same size. So how much ribbon should she use for each bow if she uses all the ribbon? All right, let's take a look. What's my author's purpose? Very good. Remember, you're using that keyword to find. So we need to find out how much ribbon should she use for each bow. All right, now this is what I have. So here's my clues. I know that she needs to make, or she wants to make, not a needs, but it's a wants to make 25 bows. And this is what she has. So she's bought 12 and 7,500 meters of ribbon. So this is actually, I'm just going to put bought because that she went to the store to buy that. Then grandma gave her six more meters. Guys, be super careful next Tuesday. Okay, so you see how it's 12, six is a whole number. See that decimal? Just stack that right on top. Keep those decimals lined up. It's a whole number. Some of you would put it over here in the decimal and it's not. Okay, so this makes it 75, six, seven, eight. So this is her total amount of ribbon. All right, to find out how much ribbon she should use for each bow, we're going to need to divide. Now let's take a look at what we have. This is how much ribbon she's got, right? Can she use 43 and 7,500 meters of ribbon when she only has this amount per bow? Remember, it's going to be for each bow, so we know I can get rid of that one. What about 18 and 7,500? No, that's the amount of ribbon she has. So excuse me, process of elimination. I can get rid of that one. So now I'm looking at these two. So I'm going to go ahead. Now remember, you can pause the video at any time so you can catch up. So I'm going to place the 1875 and that's going to be divided by 25. So I'm going to kind of fold this here so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use my answer choices to help me divide. So if you're having problems with division, you can do that. See how the first one after that decimal, I'm gonna bring my decimal up, cross that out. 25 cannot go into one, nor can it go into 18. See how I just put those zeros there? We'll look over here. See that zero next to the decimal? That's the same thing. So check, check. Both of them are seven. So I'm going to say that it's 25 times 7 and multiply that out. 7 times 5 is 35. 7 times 2 is 14, 15, 16, 17. Another way that you could have done it is you know that 4 25s is 100. So 8 25s is 200 minus 125 gives you 175. Great. Okay. Now I'm going to place the 175 here. Again, it is going to be, does McDonald's serve? So I'm at the serve right now. So seven minus five is two. 
8 minus 7 is 1, and I'm going to bring down the 5, and I'm going to start over. So I'm going to check, first of all. Oh, wasn't there. I need it. I'm going to just erase this so that you can see it. The cheeseburger is to check. 20, 12 is less than 25, so now I'm going to bring that down. Bring down for burger. So does, this is divide. This is multiply, McDonald's, serve, this is subtract, cheese, this is the check, burgers is bring down, and so and then I start all over again. 25 goes into 125, so let's look at this. I have a choice between the 9 and the 5. Well. I'm going to look at the 7 right here. I know that 25 times 7 is already 175. If I use the 9, is my product going to go up, increase, or decrease? Yeah, it is going to increase. So it will have to be then the 5. So multiplying that out, again, if you know that 25 times 4 is 100, Add another 25 for it, and it's 125. If you didn't see that or get a 5 times 5 is, or didn't understand, 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 2 is 10, 11, and 12. So that's 125. And I'm going to subtract that out, and then it's 0. So the correct answer is 75 hundredths meters per bow. So do you see how I use this in my answer choices and it made it so much easier? All right, we're gonna keep practicing on that one. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.